Oh my gosh, email from Jay. As you know, I'm on a mental gap year in Australia. Come and stay anytime you like. I'm in. She looks well freaked out. Do you think that might have anything to do with the car? Doubt it. This is the classic Aussie shagging wagon. The mobile virgin conversion unit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, firstly, congratulations on the film. I know it hasn't come out here yet, but it's already such a massive success in the UK. It must be very exciting. I know the first one was such a big success. Is it nerve wracking coming back to do a second one and try and top what you've already done? It was nerve wracking. I mean, it, we, it's all, I think we've always taken this show kind of, kind of emotionally quite seriously. We always put pressure on ourselves. So although there was pressure this time, it was a bit like there kind of always is. We always we're, we're desperate to be funny. We're desperate for it to, yeah. to to succeed. Was it hard to get that rapport going? Or it wasn't it's, hard to get the rapport going it's at all. So we, easy. Yeah, we slip back into it. We really regress when we're together and turn into <laughs> immature little boys. Yeah, method actors. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's well. That's, that's the right. excuse yeah. that we use. That excuse on set all the time, and people yeah. see through it so easily. Like we're constantly like, oh, we're mucking around because you know we have to play idiot teenagers. So we're just keeping the energy up. You know, yeah. if we have good energy, then it will transfer onto the screen. Yeah. Really Really, we just like being immature and silly. Yeah. We're backpacking there. Get into the backpacking vibe. Vibe. Come to Byron Bay. Oh, it is awesome. Well, be careful. Muff before mates is actually a crime in Australia. It's interesting. Growing up in Australia, kind of, you know, it's a sign of affection, really, if people get picked on and you're teased. And I can we just kind of think that. Yeah, no. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'd dispute that. I, I would yeah. say yeah. it's a little action. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fine actor yeah. and a great yeah. detective. Yeah. <laughs> we bully Blake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It never used to be me, but the last few years I've 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 taken the brunt of it. The last yeah. few years. <laughs> the last few years. The last few years. You you would you would you would just think because year. we haven't done anything together for three years, the bullying may have subsided slightly. No, there's emails, phone calls, text messages. Oh God! Yeah. Don't put it like that. That yeah, makes it sound like it's stalking oh, or something it's, horrendous. It's, like, it's, 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 it's not a campaign. Bad. I mean, like well, it feels like <laughs> it, uh, but. Um, <laughs> Yes, we used to bully. <coughs> we used to bully Joe, but he yeah. was um, too emotionally unstable. Couldn't, couldn't too, take it. Too fragile. Yeah, for little starts. I don't think they got bored. Katie, can I play your song? How about the sound of silence? If anyone starts playing the bongos, I'm leaving. Sorry, sorry. Simon, swear on your hoodie you're not going to cheat on me. I just love you so much. Basically, I just need to kill myself. And it's got to be easier than breaking up with her. We love working with each other. I mean, this is just a just a great job. I can't say sort of how much of a perfect job this is. Um, but ultimately, we don't write the show, and Ian and Damon are at at their broken men. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can't. I don't. I think yeah. Ian would sort of, if he saw a pen, he'd like run out of the room. <laughs> so I think I, I don't. I can't see them doing any more. I also think. We're at an end point with this on this journey. The thing about these characters is that they, it, they all need to be at a point in their life where the most important people in their lives are the other three. And as you grow up, that ceases to be the case. We're so happy and proud of the of the of the series and the films as they stand. We don't want to change what we think is fundamental about the show. Yeah. Yeah, very point, good points. And Ian and Damon, obviously, this is their first time stepping into the director role. Um, was that did that change the dynamic, or was that a different? It should have changed the did. dynamic. We should have become <laughs> respectful. Uh, I think they thought it might change it a little bit. It didn't change it at all. We were unable to take it seriously. The idea of them being the directors, we just see them as our mates. It was as difficult as if one of as it would have been if one of us had said we're directing it. We'd have been like. That's ridiculous. That's inherently ridiculous. Um, I so think it, it probably would have been less. Yeah. I had no limits. We, so the fact that they were the people in charge just just meant that it was a free for all, and uh, we loved every minute of it. I just need to Skype home. Oh, I haven't seen your mum for six months. I need to refresh the image in the wank bank. Hello, Johnny. I can't see you. Tip the lid forward. How's that? Moving on. Everyone knows the backpacking girls are the loosest. That's why it's called a gap year, because of the gap between their legs. Well, that's it. Thanks for me. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah.